you take a look at concrete structures like breakwaters or seawalls, the water around them is often clear. That's not actually a good thing, because it means there's no life. Marine species are actually most abundant in coastal areas, but it's also where us humans prefer to live too. So when we build here, we drive away marine life. The concrete in the marine world has a lot of additives, a lot of chemicals, and some of those materials are actually leaching out and they're actually prohibiting marine life to thrive. We keep developing without any regards to natural communities. There is a tilting point uh, from each beyond we cannot really go back. In the coastal city of Tel Aviv, an Israeli startup wants to revolutionize our urban coastlines. Their sea defenses are transforming lifeless man made structures into teeming ecosystems. They do this by replacing standard concrete with their own special cement formulas. As opposed to regular cement based concrete, e concrete includes certain elements uh, that enhance the growth of marine flora and fauna of plants and animals. Our admix, which is kind of our secret sauce, is basically kind of sealing the concrete, making it less aggressive for the marine environment. That once we add it, we enable life to flourish. In the lab, the team run tests to identify what mixes will work best for marine life. So we take really ice cube sized concrete slabs of different compositions and we put larvae, 20, 30, 50. We need to have a lot of replicates. We're geeky scientists, so we have to have a lot of replication and controls. And then within a few days or just a few weeks, we can get an answer on uh, their preference. So obviously if they die, they have a very low tolerance to that specific concrete mix design. And if they thrive or they flourish, we can quantify that uh, very quickly. E-concrete says it typically sees double the biodiversity of regular grey concrete. From fish and sea caterpillars on their armour blocks to crabs on these tidal pools that sit on the shoreline. This unit holds water uh, during the low tide so it's always moist and therefore it has uh, a very comfortable habitat for uh, crabs and sea anemones and sea stars etc. These pools have been here for less than three months and this is already what you can see. It's covered with life see the rock around it, which has been here for probably 10, 20, maybe even more years, only has a thin layer of green algae and that's it. As well as the composition of the cement mix, Econcrete designs its products specifically to the marine environment it will be deployed, to create niches for endangered species or to develop nurseries like these oyster beds. The final part of the equation is creating complex surface textures to mimic natural rock or coral an environment that helps anchor young organisms. When concrete elements are being cast, the typical goal is to have a very slick uh, surface, very, very smooth. The idea is to get the water to flow right across it. When we are designing e-concrete with a rough surface, we want to do the complete opposite. We want to slow the water when they are crossing the structure so that the larvae can actually adhere uh, and attach to the surface. E-concrete has to offer its clients more than just ecological credentials. Over time, they've discovered that creating hospitable habitats for marine life adds another advantage, one that is surely hard to ignore. We've seen evidence to the fact that the growth of the organisms on the concrete create kind of a layer of defense. Just the addition of weight, we can actually gain stability and strength over time. This is the, let's say, the, the unit when we put it in the water. And this is after a year in the water. And what you can see here is all the oysters are completely covering it. We designed the units so they can withstand the forces and perform in terms of structural performance, but they can also be a backbone for uh, ecological enhancement. The company tests its miniature designs in tanks full of real seawater, rocks, plants, and animal life from around the world. What we're looking for is the accumulation of calcium carbonate on the surface of the concrete of, by, of different mixes and different designs. This is the process we call it biogenic buildup. So with time, we get a buildup of calcium carbonate that is sourced from marine organisms on the surface of the concrete. And we actually encapsulate the concrete with a natural rock. 
So when the organism die, in the case of a coral, it will die and then another coral will sit on it and that's how a reef is growing. The hope that our man-made structures could become stronger over time also means better economics. The units require less maintenance and could therefore stay in the water for longer. E-concrete though is just a few years old, so it needs more time to really quantify the longevity of its products. But the company are certain their products are better for the environment, and not just in terms of improving biodiversity. We're kind of trying to offset some of that immense carbon footprint of the concrete industry. Construction is responsible for about 11% of global carbon emissions. By adding a biological crust to their products, E-concrete prevents some CO2 from being released into the atmosphere. For every kilogram of uh, calcium carbonate being created by those marine organisms, we're offsetting 120 grams of CO2. So think about building a port infrastructure or a city waterfront that is an active carbon sink. I think that's a great advantage of the technology. Mm -hmm.